What's going on guys? Have y'all ever wanted to include really cool lighting effects such as like color changes and, and flashing lights as a part of your home kit scenes? Well, I found a way and today I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks for checking out another video. Uh, for those new here, my name is Shane and on this channel I am building an affordable smart home using HomeKit. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe, click the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new HomeKit video every week. Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to create these cool light effects such as flashing lights, um, color changes, a candle flickering, and all of which, once they're set up, you can access right from your scenes inside HomeKit in the Home app. Okay, so first let's talk about what we're gonna need to be able to set this up. First of all, you're gonna have to have HomeKit enabled lights that have effects built in uh, by the manufacturer. So not all lights are gonna work. Uh, Philips Hue lights, I don't think will, you can do this. Um, you've got to be able to access these kinds of effects from within the manufacturer's app. The lights I'm gonna be using today are all made by Vocolink. I've talked about some of their products before. I like them. They're really affordable home kit products that work well. They have these effects built in that you can actually access and control from the Vocolink app. Um, there are other home kit lights out there that I'm pretty sure have different effects built in. But again, today we're gonna to be using the Vocolink lights. And also I'll leave links in the description uh, to all these lights that I'm using here for this setup in case you wanna check those out. Secondly, we're gonna need the manufacturer's app of the lights that we're using. So in this case, I'm using the Vocolink lights and the manufacturer's app is called uh, Linkwise, made by Vocolink. So I'm gonna have to use this in order to access these effects. And finally, we're going to need a third party app to set up our scene. Uh, this is an important part. We're gonna need to use a third-party app that gives us more control and access to HomeKit than we would normally get inside of Apple's uh, Home app. So I'm gonna show you how to set this up using two different apps, the Eve app, which is a free app, and the Home Plus app, which is um, a great HomeKit app that I've talked about before a little bit on this channel. It's a paid app but I'm gonna show you how to set it up in that one as well. So what I'm gonna do today is set up three basic scenes, all of which include some cool lighting effects. The first scene we're gonna do is just a party scene. Um, you can even add music on your home pod and things like that, but we're just gonna set up the light portion. What I'm gonna do is add some effects to, uh, to my light strip. It's gonna kind of gradually change colors and go through different colors um, when we set this scene. The second scene we're gonna set is gonna be an alert scene. So we're gonna have the light strip flashing red. Uh, so this would be good if you have multiple lights throughout the house. If you wanna set up this scene as a part of an automation, you know, if an alarm is triggered or something, you can have these, you know, lights firing off, you know, code red alert. And the third scene that we're gonna set up is gonna be um, a scene for the bedroom. Um, I've got a few lights in there and we're going to add kind of a candle flicker to these lights, you know, sort of set the mood, if you will. So let's jump right into it and start creating our first scene. This one is going to, uh, we're going to control the lights over my cabinets in the, uh, in the kitchen for this scene. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the Vocolink app. And I'm going, yep, I'm in my kitchen and I've got my light strip right here. I'm gonna pull this up. You see down here at the bottom, you have uh, moments. If you tap on that, across the top, you'll see effects. And here are the effects for this light. Um, this is one of the older light strips that they make. This is the LS1, the light strip one. This is the uh, weatherproof one. Uh, again, I'll put links in the description down below. There's three different kinds of effects built in with this one. We also have the newer light strip, the LS2. That one is in the bedroom. We're gonna talk about that one a little bit later. 
and that one actually includes even more effects but we'll get to that for this one uh, we're going to start off with our party scene so i think this would be cool to do um, a flow which will kind of gradually uh, flow one color into the next uh, so we tap that and here you can see the different colors and uh, i like this for a party scene you know it would be cool to have all these different colors will kind of gradually change you can see the interval right here is uh, three seconds the brightness is only at 61 i'm going to go ahead and jump that on up to 100 and that's it our light strip is currently set at this effect right now all right now that our light strip is in there changing colors we're going to set up a scene so we can access this inside the home app we'll do this one with the eve app so if you go to automation and go to scenes make sure in the scenes tabs hit edit you can add a new scene add actions uh, let's see my kitchen and here in the light strip you can see we have this option light effect mode it's automatically on two because that's apparently the code or whatever for this lighting effect you can change it in here, but you don't really know what it's gonna look like. That's why I like to use the manufacturer's app to set it how I like it. What we'll also need to do is turn on the, uh, the brightness and the power. That should be all you have to do. Hit next. We'll call it party time kitchen. Set our icon. Okay, and we'll hit done. And now our scene is created as you can see. Now the fun part is if we go out to our home app and now I can tap this scene right here and it's gonna automatically start my effect. So let's head to the kitchen and test this one out. Party time. And there you have it. You can see the colors changing, looks awesome. There you go it works great so if you don't want the light to default back to that effect next time you uh, just turn the light on like if I just tap my kitchen light strip right now it's gonna start that effect again uh, what you can do if you go into your Eve app my all lights out scene if I go to that one uh, if I can find it here the hell is it all lights out and I go down and I find my kitchen light strip and I can turn that light effect mode to zero. This is my all lights out scene. So now uh, I can just click this one when I'm done with my party time scene and it'll reset that light effect back to zero so that next time I cut on the light, it's not gonna be going through that uh, crazy effect. Okay, so let's set up our second scene real quick. First, we need to open up the Vocal Link app. Well, I'm gonna control two lights in this scene. Um, I got a light strip in the kitchen, the same one we did earlier, and then I got a lamp in the living room, and I'm gonna set these to flash red. This is gonna be our alert code red scene. And again, this will be great to automate with an alarm or, or smoke detectors or things like that. Okay, so I'm in here. We're gonna choose moments down here again. My effect. I'm going to choose blink, all right? And that's gonna blink all these different colors. I don't need that. So you tap this button right here, and you can just close out all these. I just want red. Keep closing, remove, remove, and there we go. So now it's gonna blink. The brightness, I'm gonna shoot up to 100%, so it's gonna blink in 0.5 second intervals. Okay, done there. Uh, now I got to go to my living room and in here I have a lamp again this is another vocal link bulb uh, I'm going to go into my moments and I'm going to choose blink I'm going to do the same thing here 0.5 second intervals I'm going to bring the brightness up to 100 and I'm going to remove all these other colors and there we go, we're done there. So now these lights are in here blinking right now, doing what I want them to do. So now when I open up the Home Plus app, which we're gonna do right now, uh, so I'm gonna go to Scenes, I'm gonna create a new scene here, and I'm gonna call this Code Red. Save, oh, I need to add some stuff to it, where'd it go? Code Red, okay, 
and I'm going to add some accessories and we are looking for my living room lamp is one. Okay, now here is all the things that this app can see. Again, stuff you don't see in Apple's home app. So we have access to the power state. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take the brightness. So we got the brightness. We're gonna take the power state. And we're gonna take the light effect mode. Save. Okay, then we got the power state, the brightness, and the light effect. So we should be good there. I'm gonna choose another accessory, and this time we're looking for that light strip. Should be this one. Okay, and again, we got that light effect mode. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take the brightness. And we're gonna take the power state. There we go, we got everything we need from that. And let's see how it looks in the home app. There you go, there's your code red. Uh, one last thing I'm gonna do, uh, just to be able to, again, clear out those um, effect modes when I am done with this scene. If I want to just clear out everything, I'm gonna go back into my Home Plus app. I'm gonna go into All Lights Out my all lights out scene. And in that lamp, I'm going to choose effect mode and put that to zero. And then I'm looking also for my light strip. And that one's actually already set to zero So I, because I did that previous, previously uh, in the EVAP. Uh, so now that's good to go. And so now, code red, flashing, all lights out turns off all the lights. And now since I reset those light effects, I can turn these back on now and they're not gonna be flashing still. So that is our first two scenes. We're gonna do our last one now and this one's gonna be really cool. This one actually is gonna feature three lights. One of those lights is a mood light that is a part of a uh, smart diffuser made by Vocalink. Again, all of these devices are made by Vocalink because I know they've got the effects and they work. All these are in my bedroom. This is gonna be kind of our sexy time scene. Um, we can call it whatever we want. We're gonna do a cool candlelight flicker for these scenes. So let's go ahead and jump in here and set that up first and get the lights looking how we want them to look in the LinkWise app. I'm gonna move over to my bedroom. Let's first go and do our headboard. Uh, you go into moments and uh, you can tap effects and you see here are your options. You have a flicker um, and a candle breathe. These are all cool effects that you can choose. We're gonna choose the candle. And um, you can change your brightness here on how high you want that. I'm gonna do it right around there uh, just for demonstration purposes. You might want this a little bit lower because this is kind of a cool um, effect to not have super bright. All right, next we're going to do the lamp. I have a lamp in this room with the L3 light bulb. Go to moments and effects. We got our candle right here. I'm gonna bring the brightness up on this one as well, right about 75 or so. All right, and now we're gonna do my flower bud uh, smart diffuser. This has a light included. Again, if we tap moments, we have these effects for the flower bud as well. Again, this is really cool. So I'm going to do for this one, I figured the flow would be best and I'm going to choose uh, these two kind of subtle colors. So kind of like an orange and red. So it's kind of flowing a little bit uh, similar to the candles to kind of complement those effects. I'm going to bring the brightness up to about uh, 70 on this one. And that's it, now our lights are looking how we want them in the bedroom. So let's set up our scene so we can access this in the home app. Again, for this one, I'm gonna use the Home Plus app. I'm gonna do a new scene. Uh, let's call it Sexy Time. And here's our scene. Let's add some actions to it. I'm going down and I'm looking for my bedroom lamp. Okay, we want our effect mode, which is four apparently. We want the brightness and we want the power state. 
okay and then we also want to add another device next we want to add the headboard same thing here we want that effect mode we want the we want the brightness and the power state okay and we're going to add one more this is going to be the flower bud and you can actually turn on the diffuser as a part of this scene which would be really cool to get the room smelling real nice and flowery 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 uh, why can't i say that word smell make it smell like flowers okay and you can choose the spray quantity and everything there which is really cool but we're gonna skip that for now we're just showing you the light effects let's do the power state let's do the light effect mode obviously and let's add the brightness and that's it those are our three lights in the bedroom with the effects set up and let's go out here into our home app and there you can see is our sexy time all right so let's go ahead and head into the bedroom i'm going to show you real quick how this looks with these cool candlelight effects in the bedroom let's go here we go So there you go, they work like a charm, right? Pretty cool that we can now access scenes from our home app that have these cool light effects. If you're able to try this and get this to successfully work with any other lights other than the Vocolink lights, drop a comment down below and uh, let us know which lights you're able to get this to work with. I hope you guys like this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Again, my name is Shane, and on this channel, I'm building an affordable smart home. Keyword on affordable, using HomeKit. So if that's something you're into, be sure to subscribe. Click the bell icon so you get notified when I post a new HomeKit video every week. Thanks again for watching, guys, and until the next time, I'll see y'all later.